Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Psychic Diaries. I am one of your hosts, Michael Lamport. I am the uh, producer of the TV show Rescue Mediums. And my co-host is the wonderful Jackie Dennison, who um, is an internationally known psychic medium and uh, also the host of Rescue Mediums. And as you know, on Psychic Diaries, we uh, do various interviews with people in the uh, psychic supernatural realm. And today we are so lucky to be able to have Jolie De Jong, who is there. And uh, she, she is um, increasing her psychic ability uh, at a place called the Awakenings Group which is in the town of Exeter in Ontario, Canada. And um, you may have heard of the Awakenings Group before because uh, the founder of Awakenings Group, uh, Kelly Elson, was on our show previously. And um, so uh, not only does Jolie work with Kelly, um, they have another connection. Uh, Kelly's her mom. So not only is Jolie uh, increasing her psychic awareness, she is sort of running the business of uh, the Awakenings group. So she's in the wonderful position of being her mom's boss occasionally. <laughs> yes. I think everybody would love that. Anyway, Jolie, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Good to see you. Now, I just want to ask you, I'll, I'll do the first question, and then Jackie's going to do loads more, I imagine. Um, so tell us, when did you first think or realize, and what were the circumstances around you having a psychic gift? Well, I was really young, to be honest, and I was always surrounded by my mother doing readings in, in our home and out in her work. And I started becoming so curious with the afterlife. I wanted to watch horror movies. I wanted to visit the cemetery for fun. I had imaginary friends and I was hearing things. I was seeing things and I knew that it was, I wasn't making it up. Um, so yeah, I think I was probably eight years old, seven or eight years old when I really started um, realizing that I was seeing different things than other kids. Did, did it ever scare you or you were um, like at peace with it? So at times, because honestly, the energy, I would be feeling the energy so extremely that I would be feeling like physical sensations. I remember my mom and I actually stayed at a cottage when I was young and I woke up in the middle of the night scared because I said, there's somebody touching my back right now. There's somebody touching my neck right now. I can feel it. It's going up and down my spine. I said, I'm scared. I can't sleep. But that is something that I'll always remember because that was probably my first experience with having physical sensations from a, a spiritual being. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. It was, well, it was a world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, uh, that, that must have been really, really scary, though, because I mean, even though I, I'm joking about, you know, this like, welcome to my world, but. Um, it, it can, when you, in the daytime, you know, when we've got stuff going on as, around us in the daytime, we sort of feel things and it's like, okay, but up oh, nighttime or through the night, especially, you know, if you're on your own, that can get real scary. So what did you do? Did you wake your mom up and say, you know, this ghost in the room? <laughs> yeah, I pretty much just said, I feel somebody touching me and, and I know that there's nobody actually there. And she just kind of said, okay, like, <laughs> you're maybe a little bit more like me than I thought, you know, <laughs> we kind of stayed up for a little bit and then it was okay, but. <laughs> What's it like growing up with a psychic mum? It was interesting. She, I, I couldn't get away with much, that's for sure. <laughs> I, no, no, there's no lying there, but um, yeah, there was always a lot of questions, you know, what, how, how does your mom's job work or how, like, how does she do that? And I, I always was unable to really answer those questions until I started experiencing these things for myself and now I feel like I have a much better understanding of it and I'm able to tell people a lot better about it so and, and how are you dealing with um because of your, your love of kids and that how are you dealing with them 
to help them uh, increase their spiritual psychic awareness? Honestly, I think the first step in me helping them is getting them to realize that it's completely normal and that it's not scary because there's so right. much, so much like energy around this, t this topic and everyone thinks it's such a negative thing. And mm. I feel like that's the first step is rewiring them and saying, no, your gift is, is wonderful. You can use this in a positive yeah. way. This is all for a, a better reason. And as we've said on the show, I think many, many times um, that Hollywood and, uh, you know, other, other media enterprises, they always tend to make spiritual things like really scary. That's because people want to be scared and that's fun. But the reality, as you know, that that's not true. No, not at all. <laughs> no, no. Every ghost isn't there to jump out and scare us they're actually there to go like hey how are you doing yeah exactly yes yeah, do you do readings yourself Julie um I'm trying to get into it more so mom and I are really kind of going through the basics right now like just about how she you know channels her energy and what kind of signals and symbols she receives from the other side and what she needs to communicate so I think her and I are very alike in the sense of how we're, how we do our readings. I have unintentionally read somebody several times, even at one of my mom's um, psychic development classes. I, the lady next to me, I was getting feelings about her the whole way through. I, I wrote down a whole jot noted, uh, a whole, like a, lots of notes and pretty much all of it was spot on. And I had no idea who wow. that was. And it was her son coming through that had passed away in a oh, fire. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah. It's it's good to get that validation though, isn't it? To, so that you know that you are understanding what's being given to you by spirit. You know. Exactly. Uh you know, did you give that information to the the lady? I did. I did. The, she was crying. She was oh, crying. Right. Oh. Yeah, because one of the things that kept coming up was Winnie the Pooh, and I didn't I didn't know why. Oh. I was thinking about Winnie the Pooh in the middle of my mom's psychic development class, right? <laughs> and she says, when my son passed away, I was gifted a Winnie the Pooh plaque with his birth date on it, and we have it hanging above our door in our home. Oh, my God. Wow. wow. You know, it's stuff like that that really delivers you know that it's it's very very personal proof that you couldn't possibly have known the only person that could have given you that information was her son yes exactly and yeah, yeah just I did not know her at all and then I was just able to connect with her that way because uh, her loved one was reaching out to me so awesome that's I, wonderful yeah very very healing I mean you are a healer as well aren't you 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 do uh, Reiki don't you Yes, we're, I am developing a children's Reiki class right now with my mom. Excellent. So yeah, it's coming along really well. We've made our own manual and everything. It's looking oh, great. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, and how would you, that. so, so I'm sorry, Jackie. How would, how would you explain the Reiki like to a nine-year-old, for example? Well, like what would you say to them? Basically, what we've done is we've kind of taken the actual adult Reiki manual that my mom has published and created herself, and mm -hmm. we've condensed it, and we've kind of made it into more child-friendly, like, words, sentences. Yeah. We've added a lot more pictures, and basically kept, kept it to the basics of what we yeah. think that they need to know to start growing and continuing on their spiritual journey, like, with Reiki. So it's just, <laughs> you know, how it started, how it was created, and then... Yeah. yeah basically the chakras so. well I, I i think i i think a book like that though jolly would also be good for the uh grown-ups because yeah. <laughs> sometimes we as all of us as adults we go like oh reiki okay um okay can you explain that and yeah. to give them like a kid's book i'd be like oh god that's great now i understand it right i know more simple for sure <laughs> I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be really helpful. And I think it's wonderful. I do too. How, how did that come about? What made you decide that you wanted to do that? Well, I, I kind of always known that I wanted to work with kids in some way, but I knew that I also wanted to work with mom and her business because 
realistically, there's not a lot of people who are going to be able to take over. That's for sure. So <laughs> I'm wanting to do that as well. So I thought, you know, how can I incorporate both of these things? And my mom said, well, why don't we start focusing on some younger minds? Because realistically, we want them to be comfortable with these things so that they'll continue to educate themselves and get better at mm -hmm. using their gifts. So very wise. I, I think it's very smart that we're, we're starting with younger ages. Yeah. I yeah, completely agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, an understanding of energy. We're only frightened of things we don't understand. You know, so if we can make sense out of something uh, and simplify it, as you say, it's just so good. I think it's wonderful that you're doing that um, and that it's your version of that because um, I, I get into sort of like heated discussions with people about, about things like this. Um, you know, we have a particular way of healing it it all comes from the same place you know it's it's universal and we are the channel these are just methods of channeling and reiki is one of those ways to channel that energy um and the, whoever it is it then becomes yours because you are the channel uh, you know, as I'm talking about, of course, my hand chakras are going, oh, hello, hello, we're talking about yeah. healing here. You know? <laughs> and you'll experience that, you know, because it is, it, we are a channel and it's your way of doing things. So I really applaud you, both you and your mom, for doing that uh, because it is, it's coming from the universe. It's learned in a specific way, which is the Reiki manual way of doing things. But now you're adapting it um and 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 that is your way which is absolutely brilliant because you put your spin on it your interpretation on it and for children to learn because uh, i know you're sort of looking at from the ages of eight aren't you to uh about 14 15 which is tremendous because that's when minds are open and ready to understand mm -hmm. so if a child asks you a question and you just give them the answer they go oh yeah okay yeah. Yeah. yeah rather than it being a myth you know and it's like yeah. something to be scared of so yeah wonderful well I, I i've got one question uh, another question for you jolly yeah. and, and also for jackie i guess um uh i uh i produce rescue mediums i i, I don't profess to be psychic um i do feel things but not not a great deal but I'm curious because I have had Reiki uh, performed on me, but where does the name Reiki come from? Like, I, I wonder if some of their viewers may know, but some might not. Like, why is it called Reiki? It sounds very uh, initially Asian. I don't know, I'm making that up. Is that true? Yeah, so the founder of Reiki, the Reiki that I study is Dr. Isui and Ma Madame Takata, which she was raised in Hawaii. And then her parents, she moved over to Japan and started her own practice of Asui Reiki there. So I'm not quite sure about why it's called Reiki, but I do know that it originated in Asian countries and then moved over through Europe and has now expanded throughout the world through Dr. Asui's um, descendants from his wow. students. So she kind wow. of kept the lineage going, so. Okay, thank you. That's but, interesting. Yeah, it's fascinating how it's how it's spread and how it's continued to build. Yeah, and it sort of it sort of it spills out to uh, you know other things, so you can get like um, angelic Reiki, you can get Celtic Reiki. You know, there's lots of different um, forms of it, which is a, just a a way, Reiki is just a way to channel. It's yeah. a way of doing it. That that's that's all it is. So, so is Celtic Reiki. Does that mean when you're getting the treatment, you have to wear a kilt? <laughs> if you really want to. Yes, oh, it's him. That that that's uh, Doctor Sui. That's Doctor Sui. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So he he sits in our little room here. <laughs> um, so. Jolie, what do you want to do then moving forward? Like, what do you see uh, as you open up the well, ideas that you have, not just Reiki, but other things? Like, 
mom and I have had so many discussions about this. We really just want to continue to build like an, em an empire of services for, for anyone in this area when it comes to, to energy and energy work and healing. And we just, yeah, like I, we were thinking about doing more hypnosis tracks and yeah. me starting off with small, smaller readings sort of thing and building my way up. So we just want to continue with the awakenings group and try and add more stuff on our website. And hopefully we can get more people in this community involved in energetic work. Cause yeah. that's really my main goal is just reaching out to more people and, and getting them to, to really see that the gifts that they have, because there's more people than we realize, I think. Well, I mean, obviously we will certainly put uh, links to uh, your group, to the awakenings group, uh, at the end of this interview. So pe people, if they're watching it, they can get in contact with you. That's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, uh, this could go so in so many different ways here, because um, when you're targeting young people, which is what you're hoping to do, I think the key to this is the fact that you are such a young person yourself. So because you're so young, uh, they will relate to you, you know, yeah. Uh, because you're on the same wavelength as them so you know that you can maybe put things to them that um an old fogey like me or michael wouldn't be able to they wouldn't relate to us just in the same way you know they might listen to what we're saying but if it's coming from a young person they go oh yeah oh well you know if it means something to her you know we're not being lectured to yeah. by older people this is somebody who understands this and makes it fun you know yeah, I agree. I completely agree because, like, I, I mean, in my head now, I can imagine Jolie speaking to, like, an eight-year-old about this and the eight-year-old saying, oh, no, I sort of feel things sometimes. And Jolie saying, like, well, I mean, I wanted to dig up a body in, in the uh, cemetery and see what was going on. I did. I really did. I asked mom if we could, and she said that's absolutely not, but <laughs> too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I definitely connect with children. Like I've even had like my niece before. She's gonna be five this year. She's seen people before, right? And it, it, it's important for parents and and older people to realize that we shouldn't suppress that. When yeah. they express that they're seeing something, when they're feeling something, don't say it's imaginary. Don't say they're making it up. Just yeah. pretend like it's real, or say, "Oh wow, like that's cool that you see something." You know, like yeah. do, do you think that's because when, when we are all younger, we are more um, we are more open and 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 not prejudiced against uh, oh well that can't be true that's silly no 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 like like we just absorb it like a sponge exactly we're way more susceptible to energy I feel like because we're our brains aren't as busy at that time of life so. yeah. yeah 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 who was your imaginary friend imaginary she says in inverted commas honestly it wasn't even like imaginary i just find that my nanny was around me a lot wow. my nanny my nanny died um a few years before i was born but i was almost born on her birthday that like a few hours before her birthday but so when i had my first reiki with my mom my nanny actually came through and she was kind of my guide and Lovely. it was a very emotional experience for me, but I find that she's just always been with me. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really fascinating. I, but I do see people, I see spirits quite often around strangers in public, things yeah. like that. In my own home, I'll catch it out of the glimpse of my eye and I'll look and then it's not there anymore. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah. It starts to happen more often now that I'm, that I'm being more susceptible and open to the gifts. Yeah. It's happening almost every day now, which it, it was before, but, and I'm okay with it. It's not, I'm at the point where I don't feel scared about it anymore. So, Good. Yeah. Yeah. So do you see a uh, spirit with the naked eye or do you see them in your mind's eye? More in my mind, I would say, but there's yeah. definitely times where I do see them like out. Um, but yeah, I find that they just... They like to show me a lot of stuff like words, pictures. Yeah. A lot of it is imaginative. Um, yeah, like I've read I've read by my friends before and it's all just been stuff that their loved ones have been showing me that yeah. blew their mind when I told them too. So 
yeah. Cool, cool. And uh, do you work with your um, spirit guide? Mm, I feel like I haven't been as in touch with that as I should have been. I feel like yeah. I've been so external right now, just working on everything on the outside that I haven't really had time to be doing that on my own. But I was doing regular Reiki and, and meditation, stuff like that, focusing yeah. more. I feel like I need to get more back into that because if I'm going to be helping other people with energy, I should be also tending to my own as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. that's so important. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the expression physician heal thyself. Mm. Yeah. 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 Very, very true. Very true. You know, because you've got to look after, we are all energy. I've had this conversation with you, Mum, uh, on many occasions. Like, we are all energy, aren't we? And uh, so the energy we put out mingles with other people's energy. That means we can absorb their energy yeah. as well if we don't look after ourselves and protect ourselves, you know, in advance. Uh, yeah. Then it can affect us, especially if we're empathic. And you're a healer, so you just want to make everybody feel okay. And Yes, you know. yes, exactly. That's exactly what it's like. As soon as I go in public, it's like you can feel people's energy just radiating off of them. And yeah. I find that's why people aren't so open to their psychic abilities because they're keeping their energy frequencies down here with just negativity like that's not real uh, that can't happen then yeah. they're not gonna get the energy that's in a higher frequency so yeah that's yeah. really uh, that's a really good description of it because i know that jackie uh, has always I, I shouldn't speak for her i'm not speaking for her but we've always yeah. talked about um frequencies yeah. like you know and it's like there was an old song called What's the Frequency, Kenneth? And I can't remember any other lyric, but nobody knew what it meant. But now I'm thinking, well, maybe that's it. Like, what is the frequency? Yeah. Like, we're on. No, it, it's so bizarre. Like, if you keep your energy at a higher frequency, like, it just everything changes like you, you're more susceptible to energy coming in um mm -hmm. good things coming into your life it's it's insane what your energy can do for you and where you're keeping it like yeah yeah and, and being able to understand it being able to so from a, a younger person like yourself to be able to talk to younger people that it would wow if she, if it makes sense to her then and it's working for her then it, it's got to work for me right you know so they they will accept it easier and understand things more because of how you can put it across yeah. you know yes uh, brilliant. Yeah, I, I agree with that entirely because what what you also make me think of and i'm certain you've thought of this jolly is um like there are so many camps for young people now like summer camps or you know mm. uh, I'll help you do woodworking. Uh, I'll help you go sailing. I'll, blah, blah, blah. There aren't any or many that I know of that are sort of like, hey, let's do a, a, a spiritual energy camp, like a psychic camp, you know, with no, no religious affiliations whatsoever, but just like, let's explore our minds in this camp. Well, I and love that. that would be so much fun. I think so too. That's a great idea. That's a wonderful, wonderful idea. If I, I wish I had something like that that I could have done as a child, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I'm going to bring that up to mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you could go up. Yeah. You, I mean, near you, you could go up to Grand Bend or Bayfield or whatever, and the camp could be a weekend camp in uh, one of the places there yep. and see how it goes. Exactly. No, and you know what? I think that I wouldn't have trouble finding people, like children that would want to do that already. Like, because, yeah, I just, I think mom also has just connected to so many families over the years that I think they're waiting for a service like this to be, to be available, like an opportunity like this for their kids to finally happen. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and it, uh, here in um, England, there are uh, a lot of schools now are introducing meditation um, for the, you know, the, the younger ones. And so they're just sitting quiet contemplation and, you know, have a guided meditation. 
um, just a few minutes long, you know, because attention span for very young children. I think it's great that that is being brought into schools now. So there's no reason why healing can't be brought in in a similar way. So I don't know if um, they're doing that over there in Canada, are they? Are they, are they introducing that or not? I wouldn't say it's as common. That no. Is like no yeah. i think that's one of the biggest issues over here is there's a lot of external fixing and not a lot of internal yeah. work going on yeah. so i agree with you yeah. well maybe that's something you can start right i know like even in schools too like yes exactly you know, yeah you know just introduce it into a school go and have a word with you know one of the schools and say, can we have this as a trial one just to see yeah. how the kids take to the meditation? You know. No, that's a great idea. I, yeah. I want to get as many people involved in this as possible because the more people who are in tune with their energy and can accept their gifts and can control their energy, the just the better place a world is. The world exactly. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. No, I think it's really important to me to make this happen. I just, I'm just mm -hmm. kind of in the beginning stages of figuring out my own gifts and yeah, but you know, as I'm older now and I'm realizing that I have this gift, so many things I have clued together in my childhood, like, oh, this happened for a reason. And I saw this for a reason and yeah. just crazy things. I've, I've saved my mom and I from several car accidents by by saying we need to turn here and we can't go down this road and really yeah oh yeah that's happened mm -hmm. a few times we've I've said mom you know I'm not really having a good feeling about this like I this road just gives me bad vibes I think we should turn we turned and then we got there was an article the next day that said there was some accident drunk driver on the exact highway in the time wow. frame that we would have been driving on it wow so it's it's bizarre like it, I feel so connected um to that higher energy i feel like they protect me a lot mm -hmm. and I, i'm very grateful for it i think yeah it's 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 incredible what protection they can provide for oh, you yeah. you know that they're there and absolutely and i i have to tell you you i believe the success of what you're trying to do with the younger people will really 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 succeed because you yourself you're such a positive person and you're not like, you know, what people would call airy fairy. You're not like, oh, mystical Reiki. You're just like, <laughs> hey, I'm Jolie. I wanted to dig up dead bodies when I was eight. What's yeah. your story? <laughs> and <laughs> you, 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 are, you are lovely and you are, you are so right to be, uh, to be doing this, I think. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm really looking forward to to getting it rolling I just and I'm glad that I have my mom for support it like yeah. this is also for her I want she's built that whole business like on her own and I I don't want it to go away right I want to keep it going and I want to expand it and yeah so I think it's going to be really good and I am happy to see what my gifts can do Wonderful. I'm curious to see what would happen if I tried to read somebody right now like I I think I honestly could could just do it I really could. Not perfectly, not perfectly, but I, I, yeah. I you know. Well, you already have, though, haven't you? You know, giving a message to the person next to you in the, you know, in the development yeah. circle. Yeah. You gave that message that was absolutely spot on and was obviously meant to be delivered in that safe environment at that time when she had the loving support energy from the group to receive. So that she could receive that uh, message at that time. Yeah, it was, it felt like it was the complete right time. It was really yeah. beautiful how it happened. And she gave me a hug afterwards and it just oh. felt like it was, it was complete. Like I was meant to do that. And it was, mm -hmm. yeah, it was nice. Well, we, what we, we would love if, if you would agree to it, Jolie, we, we'd love like uh, in a while to check back in with you. I would love that. Like diaries and and see uh see see what's been going on that'd be great i would absolutely love to do that i love talking to you guys <laughs> i, I want to thank you so much for uh being on the show with us yeah. because i you, you were so uplifting and that uh, you're such a positive person i i, I 
I can't thank you enough. Well, I really appreciated the fact that you guys wanted to talk to me. It's really nice sharing my ideas with like-minded people, of course, that, yeah. you know, just know what's going on, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to talking to you guys again, too, once I have yeah. a little bit more to tell you about what's going on. Looking forward to that. Yeah. All, all right, my darling, we shall love you and leave you for now. And thank you so much. And we will check back in with you um, a little way down the line. All right, wonderful. It was okay. great to talk to you guys. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.